Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort is a beautiful deluxe resort at the place where dreams come true, but unfortunately it has a tendency of being overlooked when we consider where we want to stay at Walt Disney World, but not anymore. Today I'm giving it my full in-depth review and giving you a few tips and tricks if you're considering staying at the Boardwalk Inn. If you've never been to Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort before, don't worry, you are not alone. It's easy to miss, but once you see some of these pictures I'm going to show you, you may end up adding it to your list of places you'd like to visit on your next adventure to Walt. Disney World. The theme of Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort is after a 20 or 30s theme Eastern Seaboard Boardwalk Resort. It reminds you of a simpler time with entertainment and dining and pop-up shows happening right there at the boardwalk and that was the place to be. As you walk into the boardwalk's lobby you may be surprised by the really intricate furnishings that are all over the place and attention to detail of course Disney style. You'll see a carousel rug which is amazing along with a really really cool roller coaster model that's kind of in the lobby. It's so cool you could look at it for a long time and not get tired of it. Inside the lobby you'll find lots of different places to sit down and relax but you'll also find great spots to sit down outside the lobby on the deck. Great spot for a kind of an afternoon relaxation after a long flight. From that outer lobby deck area you can make your way down the stairs onto an area that I like to call the lawn. You'll find a very large area of grass and during the holiday season they'll have a larger than life tree right in the middle. It makes for a great photo. You you can sit back and relax on the lawn or continue on and make your way to the boardwalk itself. From there you can make your way left or right and you'll find shopping and dining in both directions. Speaking of those dining experiences, the boardwalk has 11 different dining venues. Can you imagine? They have the Abracadabra Bar, the Ample Hills Creamery, Big River Grill and Brewing Works, Broadway Bakery, Boardwalk Joe's Marvelous Margaritas, ESPN Zone Flying Fish, Funnel Cake Cart, Pizza Window, the To Go Cart, and Trattoria Al Forno. So you could eat at the boardwalk for your entire vacation and try something new every time. That's how many different dining locations they have. Of all of those dining experiences, you've got the character dining at Trattoria Al Forno along with the signature service Flying Fish, which I thought was really good the last time I was there. Yeah, this is basically the seafood trio here. You can see the octopus and the fish and the shrimp right there. Let's give it a try together. Okay, here we go. The octopus and a little bit of that rice there. I have had octopus before. This is definitely some of the best I've had. Not too chewy, which is very tough to do with octopus. Along with those dining options, the Boardwalk Inn also has some very unique adult-only entertainment options, like Jelly Rolls, where you can see live entertainment, and they have adult sing-alongs, that's 21 and up. They also have the Atlantic Dance Hall, where you can dance the night away in this dance club, and it goes until 2 in the morning for some mornings, so you can really enjoy it. Now you've got something delicious to eat at the 11 different choices, you've got some great entertainment at night, but what about those shops? Disney's Boardwalk Inn has four different shopping locations available to you, including the Character Carnival, which has gifts and houseware items, the Screen Door General Store, which has food and pins, Thimbles and Threads, which has apparel and accessories, which I thought was really cool on a recent adventure, and the Wideland Galleries, which is really cool artwork. I saw it on a recent adventure. It really took my breath away. Now let's talk about the elephant next to the pool, and yes, there are elephants at the Luna Park Pool, which is the main pool for Disney's Boardwalk Inn. It also has a 200-foot water slide, which is a lot of fun, but at the end of the the water slide there is a clown face if you have a fear of clowns this might be one to avoid that's just one thought you have to consider if you don't have a problem with them then you're all set you're in good shape but if you think you might be afraid of it or younger ones in your party might be afraid of it it might be a pool to avoid now if the Luna Park pool isn't quite for you there are two other leisure pools at Disney's Boardwalk Inn so it's a great place to sit back relax they're much quieter great place for adults the Boardwalk Inn Resort has several different room categories, but the biggest decision that you have to make when you're thinking about which room is right for you is the view and the club level access. So they have the standard rooms with the water view, standard view, and garden view available to you. With club level access, you have the outer building garden room, the deluxe room, and the standard room with club level access. Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort, of course, is great for families, but it's also great for those adults who really want to get away a little bit and enjoy those evening activities. If you're a night owl, who loves the Disney experiences, you may want to take a closer look at Disney's Boardwalk Inn. One of the greatest advantages of Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort is its location. You are as close as can be to Epcot. You can walk to and from as many times as you want and you're a quick boat ride away from Hollywood Studios, you could not ask for better. With its 11 different dining options, a lot of great amenities and extra activities you can participate in, including adult activities, and its amazingly convenient location to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, I give Disney's Boardwalk Inn an A in my book. 
Now the only reason that the Boardwalk Inn got an A and not an A plus is because of that clown face at the end of the Luna Park pool slide. It can be a little bit scary for those younger ones, especially at night with the eyes that kind of glow. It can be a tiny bit scary. Other than that, it's a great, great resort. Now don't let that lack of a plus dissuade you from giving it a try. Boardwalk Inn is a phenomenal resort with a lot of great places to kind of hide away and forget the whole world. I really do enjoy it and I'm hoping to go back again really soon. So what do you think of Disney's Boardwalk Inn? Is it one of your favorite? Let me know your grade for Disney's Boardwalk Inn in the comments below and in the poll right there. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.